So how are you guys this morning? Yeah, I didn't bring my umbrella, so how are you guys this morning? All right, so we're starting a new... Uh, okay. So we're, we're starting a, a new series here at St. Matthew. We're talking about how we share our faith about Jesus. So I remember when I was you guys, about your age, I used to go to children's messages at my home congregation, and pastor would get up there, and he'd do a great job talking about Jesus. But for some reason, I was maybe a lack of attention or whatever. I would always kind of, like, eyes would glaze over, and I'd kind of wonder what was coming next in the service because I'm a very visual person. So I have something here I want to show you guys. So I got this as a gift, and I keep this on my desk. So I'm going to preach in a few minutes about Jesus. So this is called the life of Christ. And so we here at St. Matthew, we use our hand. You guys know the gospel by your hand? So if you look at this section right here, what do you guys see? Okay, it's, it's supposed to be a stable, but close enough. So what do you see inside of the stable? What do you think that is? All right. But this side of it is depicting the birth of Jesus, because that's the first part of the gospel, that Jesus was born. And then if we'll, I'll, I'll explain these, but we don't, there's not part of what we, uh, our five things here at St. Matthew. But you have Jesus healing a woman here. You have Jesus turning water into wine. And watch this. Oh, let me find a switch. You have Jesus walking on the water, and that's the disciples in the boat. But I want to draw your attention to this side of it. What is, what is that right there? Cross. Yeah, that's Jesus carrying his cross. And then what do you have right here? Another cross. Yeah, him dying on the cross. And then we have this one right here. What is that one? It has the stone off to the side. We just celebrated it last week. That is a tree past this. Okay. But this is the Easter. That's Jesus after he rose from the dead. And then... Yeah. And what's in the middle, in the cloud there, with him kind of going up? Yeah, he's ascending into heaven. So that's all part of our, our gospel that we tell here at St. Matthew. So we're, over the next weeks, we're going to... Yeah. But so over the next few weeks, we're going to be talking about sharing our faith with Jesus. And I know you guys are younger, you're a little bit older, but you guys don't have to be great speakers to do it you can do it through your actions so you guys are in school or all right so you're going to be in school in august and you're in school so you guys are going to have all right so you guys are going to have uh, lunch time you you already have this and there's always that one kid that has to kind of sit off by themselves because they're not you know accepted by the rest of them one of the ways that we can show jesus love and be a witness of Christ is inviting that person to join us for lunch. Or I'll give you guys another example. When I was in school, we used to have like sports teams at recess and we would pick teams. I wasn't the most coordinated and athletic. It might surprise you, but so what I encourage you guys to do when you guys are like picking teams is there's always that one person, myself, that was always kind of picked either second or last so and maybe pick them to show your witness of Jesus love and you can remind them of Jesus love. So what I want you guys to take from here is that you're going to learn how to share your faith and you don't have to do it through your words. You can do it through your actions. And believe it or not, I know what you're thinking. Pastor, I'm only however old I am. There's no way I can be a witness for Jesus. But you guys are his witnesses because you've heard of the gospel. You've, you hear it every time we come to worship. And so you can go out and be a witness to our world. You guys think you can do that? All right, would you guys join me for a word of prayer? All right. Dear Jesus, thank you for your resurrection. That because you live, I will live also. Help me as I leave here to tell others about you through my words and actions. And all God's children said, 